name is Jeremy, also known as Jerocraft on YouTube. I'm currently on 413,000 subscribers. Right now I'm trying to entertain people of all ages. So um, I have everything from ranging from three years old to 40, 60 years old, which is good. Um, I have people from all over the world watching my videos. I have people in Australia, America, mostly America. I love American fans. Yeah, basically I dedicate myself to a creative building on Minecraft. Um, I build massive structures, it takes me weeks to build. On this game called Minecraft, it's basically a game of blocks. So it gives you the creative freedom to build practically anything you desire, really. My main focus is to teach people how to be more creative and learn how to build massive structures like I do. Um, usually I spend weeks and weeks just building massive uh, temples and stuff that really inspires people to build. The good thing about Minecraft is that it's a, an open world game, so it's, it's sort of infinite, it never ends. And you have this sort of palette of d many different kinds of blocks. So you have wood, metal, glass, and you can use all these different blocks to build incredible looking structures. Obviously it takes a lot of practice and a lot of effort and if you have the patience you can come up with some pretty decent looking buildings. Um, so really again my main focus is to teach people different ways of using these blocks to create these structures. Basically it all started six years ago when I was just on YouTube like everyone else looking through, through YouTube videos and I had a couple of recommendations for Minecraft videos. I had no idea what the game was at the time, but I thought, you know, let's, let's take a look at it, see what it's about. At the beginning, my first impressions weren't so wow, but after so many recommendations, I thought I'd just try it out. Hello guys, Jarcraft here. This is actually my first video with Mike. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to get used to it. I decided to make my own YouTube channel. Um, basically, you know about Minecraft because it's so awesome. And um, I started building a few things in the game and eventually, after looking at other YouTubers uh, online, I managed to come into contact with an, a big popular Minecraft YouTuber who introduced me to the world of YouTube. And I thought I was a creative builder, I, I thought I'd just publish my creations online and see the reactions of all those people around the world. Eventually it started building up, I was started off very small, I had only like three, four subscribers getting like two or three views per video but it was almost like a snowball eventually just grasping more and more people and it eventually became what it is today which is 413,000 people following me. Guys what is up my name is Jurocroft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft video. Yo guys what is up my name is Jurocroft and today we are finally back for a very special Minecraft transformation video. Yo guys, my name is Jerocraft and welcome to another Minecraft video. The, the response from my creative building was phenomenal. I had so many people showing positive feedback in the comments and it just really inspired me to just continue and continue. And this is where we are now, <laughs> this is where we stand today. At the moment, I stand around an average of 1 to 2 million views per month with videos ranging anything between 50,000 to 500,000 views. It uh, really depends what kind of content I, I dish out. Um, obviously there's a lot of different kind of content that I release. Um, some are just simple tutorials, other, other are just massive projects where I spend hours building. On average I, I, I do uh, attain well over 100,000 views per video, which is, which is amazing really. It's inspiring, it motivates me to continue. The funny thing is when I get down into building really it's just like it all just slowly comes together and what really inspires me is just seeing it come together. It's like I never really know what I'm actually building and as I'm going through the building process I go oh this actually might look good here, this might look good there, this pillar might look good here. I mean the good thing is that I've played a lot of video games in the past, so I've been playing video games since I was three years old and a lot of my preference is fantasy oriented games and as we all know fantasy games have all these amazing structures within them. 
So that is something that inspires me to build something similar to those buildings. A lot of people, they, they tend to ask me the same questions, you know, where do you get your inspiration from? How do you build such amazing creations? But really, it just sort of happens. It's like really no explanation. I guess I'm just genuinely creative. And as I go along building, things just come together. Really, I'm trying to create a sort of adventure for my subscribers. So as I'm going around building these time lapses and that, they can sort of um, feel like they're exploring a whole new world. That's kind of my, my goal. So come then, you heroes. Come in all your power and glory. For in the final hour, all must serve the one true king. Obviously when I, when I make a video, the video usually lasts around five, maybe 10 minutes at the most. But what people don't understand is the amount of hard work and effort that goes into these videos. It's not just a 10 minute video that's taken me a couple of hours to put together. We're talking about weeks of building, weeks of preparation. Um, it also very time consuming to edit my videos. I try to make them very entertaining. So it could take me on average about six or seven hours just to edit one video and it could take me about a week, maybe two weeks, to build something adventurous, something that people would enjoy. The process really starts off with an idea. Um, so let's say I had an, an idea of building a temple in the sky. Um, again, Minecraft is a very creative game. You have a, a many different kinds of blocks. So one of the blocks I used to create this sky temple was white stained glass, which I used to create clouds. It's really just finding the right combination of blocks to use to, that, that would actually work with your idea. I'm quite proud of many of my projects. I mean, some of them, again, took me weeks to build. I have, um, one of my favorites is the Atlantis project, which um, I built the lost city of Atlantis underwater. Now, the thing with Minecraft is that water isn't really compatible with blocks. At least it's very dark underwater and you have to sort of find a way to, to try and build this Atlantis without the use of water. So what I did was I used blue stained glass to create a sort of fake ocean. And that way I had the full creativity of building the lost city of Atlantis underneath this layer of blue glass, which was supposedly the water. Another one of my favorite projects as well is the Desert Pyramids which I tried to build a fantasy orientated desert pyramid um, that looks magical and adventurous. So again, this, these are just ideas that sort of pop into my mind. Once I get that initial idea, whether it's a pyramid, a temple, a tower, I just get down straight into building. It just sort of comes to me, it's a step-by-step -step process. The biggest project that stands right now is a project called Kingdoms of Greymane. This has been ongoing for six years and initially it's what started my YouTube channel. Um, it started off with a simple a dwarven style gate entrance into a mountain, sort of like Lord of the Rings. And eventually it just expanded over the years into a massive city with ships, markets, docks, towers. We have a massive sea gate for ships to enter the city. It's, it's really, really demanding. And again, it's a long ongoing process. This build in particular isn't one that I would publish after building a week. This is something that's been ongoing for six years. So it's sort of like a, a playlist on my channel that people can always go back to and just binge watch the, the, the entire series. The thing is a lot of people that spend time on YouTube um, don't understand that it's not just a platform where you go and watch music videos or random videos. Um, there's also this huge sort of fan base that revolves around each YouTuber. 
You know, there's people who have millions of followers and dedicated fans who watch their videos every day. Same as I do, I have a selection of dedicated fans that I know are always going to be there watching my videos, which is fantastic. I always get great feedback from them. There's a comment section, they can like my videos, they can interact with my videos as well. And, you know, even I sometimes even start a comp building competitions, seeing as my channel revolves around Minecraft and creativity. I, for Christmas, for example, I started a snow globe build contest where I had my subscribers build their own kind of snow globe. At the beginning, I was planning on deciding the winners myself, but eventually I introduced my fans to help me decide who the winner should really be. So it's a sort of like a small community of people who are sort of just sharing their, their experiences on YouTube. It's really fulfilling to, to put a smile on many people's faces. You know, I get over 30 to 40 emails a day, and most of those emails are just fan mail, people thanking me for my builds, for teaching them how to build, and generally entertaining them. So this is currently my setup right now. Obviously when it comes to YouTube, you need the proper equipment. I am actually running three different monitors and two different computers. I have my microphone, of course. Right now, what I tend to do is I tend to record on this main screen and I tend to build on, my, on the other PC. So because this is actually HD quality, etc., etc., 4K resolution. So I try to get the best quality out of my videos. Apart from that, I use this separate monitor to make sure that basically I'm recording. You need a, a recording software that will record your screen, your monitor, as well as a, a proper PC with good, with good specs would help as well. Um, this PC was actually custom built for me, thankfully by a friend. Sound insulation on the walls as well to help the quality of the audio. Uh, apart from that, you're gonna need your voice <laughs> and you're gonna need a lot of practice. Like when you start off actually recording your first few couple of videos, you might feel a bit awkward, a bit shy. But to be honest with you, after so many years of actually recording videos, you just basically second nature and it's, it's, it, you kind of just get the hang of it, to be honest. Yeah, so this is, this is basically my cave. I spend most of my days in here just recording videos for my fans, interacting with my, my fans. Um, I spent a lot of time here. Again, as you guys already know, um, I spent hours and hours and hours just building different creations on Minecraft. So it's a little hideaway. I do love, love this room. So here's another project that I worked on a couple of months ago, basically a massive tower. Uh, again, this is all built block by block out of my own pure imagination. Like people always ask me the same question, like how I actually come up with these ideas. But again, this is just all sort of step by step. As soon as I place that first block, everything slowly, slowly comes together. Sometimes I, I go into a project and I start building and halfway through I might not actually like the look of it. So I might have to go back and actually remove the blocks that I already placed and start actually from fresh again, which is obviously even more time consuming because I have to rebuild my mistake. So right now I'm on a multiplayer server, so this is probably just some people playing and just uh, traveling around the world. I mean, this is all made by other people. So they set up this server where you can play with your friends. There's different game modes on multiplayer. So there's other than just creative building, there's um, murder mystery, bed wars, battle royale and stuff like that that will entertain you in a different, in a different form. The thing about Minecraft is that it's very easily modded. So you can create pretty much anything you want, not only just build wise, but mod wise. It's a, it's a very heavily modded game, to be honest. Um, there's pretty much mods for everything. So right now you can see these people are looking at me because they might know who I am or... Yeah, they probably know who I am. <laughs> but um, yeah, these people are just currently playing right now and they're probably just adventuring through different game modes that are accessible in this multiplayer world. Um, this guy is punching me. So he's just talking to me right now. He's uh, how are you doing, Jericho? <laughs> So yeah, he's just, 
yeah, there's just random people that probably know me and are excited to see me on the server. So when I actually type on this server, um, everyone will know that I'm an actual YouTuber because I'm ranked as a YouTuber on this server. Um, the actual owners gave me the YouTuber rank, which is, can be achieved by reaching 50,000 subscribers. Obviously, I'm well past that now, so I'm attracting a lot of attention on the server, as you can see. Ooh. So we have like people actually uh, sending me messages on the chat. So we have one guy saying, Jerocraft, I'm a huge fan. Can I have a, can I have a friend? Basically a friend request. Uh, people asking me uh, what my channel is. They want to watch it, uh, stuff like that. So it's very interesting to, to actually walk onto a multiplayer server and have so many people just kind of, it's kind of like famous people in real life, except on a virtual world. <laughs> Right, so this is a project that kickstarted it all basically and actually made me go viral on YouTube. Uh, it does look quite simple as it is, but it's basically just a giant nether portal that travels through into the mountain. Um, but the way I kind of edited the video got a lot of attention and eventually this video has attained 3 million views, um, which is mind blowing to be honest, that something like this would actually grasp so much attention. So again, you know, it's making these creations is very fulfilling because it just attracts so many people from all over the world and it's just amazing to see everyone's feedback. Yo guys, what is up? It is Jurocraft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft video. The first video back after hitting those 100,000 subscribers. Guys, I cannot thank you enough. We're going to kick things off today with a very special video. About a year ago, I actually did a, another interview on GBC and I had about 92,000 followers at the time and I was 8,000 subscribers away to reaching the milestone of 100,000 subscribers. The thing is when you do reach the 100,000 milestone, you get an award which is the YouTube silver play button and that for me it was like a very meaningful time in my life because it sort of opened up many, many doors. Um, obviously I now take on YouTube full time and um, this reward is sort of a reminder of what I do. Wow. The moment I've been waiting for for over five years. I thought the day would never come and it's finally here. I just, I cannot believe it. Honestly, I cannot. And you guys have no idea how much this means to me right now. The YouTube play button's arrived and I'm standing at almost a quarter of a million subscribers already. I cannot thank you guys enough and I know it's really cliche to say that because everyone says that but it, it really, it really does mean a lot. So my journey started six years ago. Uh, obviously it started with just a single subscriber. Never could I have imagined that we're going to be standing here today with 413,000 subscribers. It's still ongoing. I get on average about two to 300 subscribers a day, sometimes even ranging to 2,500 subscribers in a single day. So this YouTube platform is extremely rewarding. These are thousands of people who are like connected to my videos and just enjoying my, my, my content. It keeps me going to know that so many people are just dying to wait to watch that next video. So I think one of the biggest questions I get all the time, not only from my fans, but from locals in Gibraltar, is how I actually managed to attain such a big following. And the thing about YouTube is that it's not as easy as it seems. Uh, a lot of people want to create such a massive following. Really, the, the biggest motive is really to just continue, never quit. Just continue posting those videos because you never really know when you're going to find that one video that's going to go viral. Uh, luckily, I went viral with this one video that I, I just came up with this crazy idea of building this massive sort of portal in Minecraft that got a lot of attention and somehow surpassed over a million views, which at the time I was barely scraping 2,000 views per video. But I sort of sat down there one day and I thought to myself, you know, let's make a really interesting video. Let's make a video that everyone's gonna enjoy. And obviously that one video is also bringing me more, more followers. But again, going back to how to become a, a YouTuber, a successful YouTuber, is really to just never quit. It's just to continue posting videos 
because the thing is as you go along posting these videos you do learn a lot if you actually compare my first video to a video I'm doing now you'll see a huge difference my first video I was shy I was embarrassed I wasn't really too keen on editing I didn't really know what I was doing but now after six years of practice it's like I learn something new every day a lot of people say that the YouTube is, is saturated. Oh, it's too, too, too difficult. There's too many YouTubers. Everyone wants to become a YouTuber. How, how, how is it possible that I'm, I'm going to become popular? The thing is, YouTube is a platform with 2 billion people watching videos every single day. It's the biggest video platform online at the moment. I mean, just think about it. 2 billion people with just a couple of thousand. The scope for growth is massive. I mean, don't give up. I know it can be very very demanding but as you go along uploading these videos you're gonna see a sort of snowball and it's slowly gonna progress even though some videos may do better than others eventually you're gonna find a strategy that works and a strategy that's gonna get you the views you need and the, the following that you, you require to succeed. So right now, my next goal is obviously to reach the, the half a million subscribers. But the main, main goal is really to get the one million subscribers where I would get the next award, which would be the golden play button, which is actually about three times the size of the silver play button. Um, I mean, that's a huge achievement to be living in such a small place and being able to, to attain a million followers is, is beyond my imagination. And it's, it's really fulfilling. I, I don't regret a thing of having taken this as my full-time profession.